sound. Well, what a band. Aren't they something? They're great. Hey, Michael McGraw. Hi, everybody. So, Michael. <laughs> what did you rush off to last night? You I had to get out of here last night. Here. Yeah, I had to make a curtain at 8 o'clock last yeah, night. Yeah, you were all in a dressed up to go dreaming. I left, I left my suit on last yeah. night. Yeah. Where'd I went you go? Out, I went out to the theater last night to see uh, the opening of Sunset Boulevard here in Los Angeles. Uh huh. Starring Petula Clark and Louis Cleal. Louis Cleal? Yes. And up Petula Clark. Broadway star. And that is the story of, uh, uh, isn't that the story of the silent screen star, the, the famous uh, uh, Billy Wilder movie? Yeah, of Norman Desmond. Was it good? It was great. It was terrific. Yeah. It was at the Pantages Theater here in Los Angeles. And was it open, star studded? Oh, everyone was there. Everyone. I can't, there are too many to mention. <laughs> well, obviously. <laughs> Um, Charles Nelson Riley was there. He wants to be on the show. Charles he, he Nelson Riley? He grabbed me at intermission. Tell Martin I want to be on the show. Oh. <laughs> Get to him quickly. <laughs> well, call him now. Oh, well, why, why, why are the booking people not on it right away? I don't, well, I just got here I today. I like Charles Nelson Riley. Yeah, so he wants to be on the show. Did you have good seats? Fourth row center. Well, wow. Orchestra. Wow. Yep. How, much, how, much, how much did they cost? They were free. They were free. <laughs> well, On the television, connection. they were free. Well, these tickets are free here. They are? Yeah, yes, yes. The people in our audience are free. And as you know, our show is one of many shows being produced uh, here in Hollywood. And like most of these other shows, we have an ongoing need for new audience members. Mm -hmm. So with that in mind, we sent our own Jerry Miner out to give away free passes to the Martin Short Show. Hey, let's take a look. Good. Hello, I'm giving away free passes to the Martin Short Show. Oh, okay. Um, I think you can go anytime you want. Oh, really? Yeah. What do I have to do? Um, I just give you this pass. Have you ever seen him before? No. You never seen Martin Short before? No, I've seen him. He's a, stuff, but... right. He's a uh, martial art star. Martin Short, you so crazy. Martin Short. What are you doing? This is for the Martin Short Show. You can't do that here. Why is that? This is one of Martin Short Show. No, I understand that, but I'm asking who you're working for. Martin Short Show. Okay. Who are you working for? Chris Caparazzi. Who's that? He's the audience coordinator for the Martin Short Show. Chris Caparazzi? I, I've never heard of him. Yeah, well, who do you work do you want, for? Do you show? want a ticket? No, I want you to leave. Do you like Martin Short? Do you know who he is? Pretty good, uh... Who's this? No, this is, this is Martin Short. That's not Martin Short. Three amigos. Three, three amigos. He was three in amigos. Pure Luck with Danny Glover. Oh, I didn't see that either. Yes, that was one of his best work. He's in a lot of movies. Is he good? He's, he's funny. He's a good guy. Because he doesn't look funny in this That's picture. That's David Hasselhoff. <laughs> What's your name? Huh? Um, your first name is fine. Jerry? Jerry, thanks. Wait, is it, what? I got <laughs>
My first guest is one of the funniest women working in comedy today. The always adorable Paula Poundstone. Coca-Cola there for you, or Pepsi, Thank you very or, much. or some on cola. It's, it's yeah, it's, yeah. <laughs> How are you doing? Good to see I, you. You know, thanks I'm, for being here. Thank you very much for having me. <laughs> How are you I, doing? Uh, you know, you look great. Well, thank you very much. And I, you know, I will probably rot in hell for saying this, but to be honest with you, I kind of wish I had a degenerative disease. <laughs> wow. <laughs> If I, why would that be, And I'll Paul? tell you why. Sure, I would love to hear it. Because I am tired and achy all of the time anyways. Why? <laughs> I figure because I have three kids and three bunnies and nine cats. And I, my vet says all cats don't throw up, but mine do. All nine of mine do. <laughs> and I just think I'm not going to feel any worse than this, you know. And if I had a degenerative disease... I would have the exact same behavior, only I would be considered courageous. <laughs> I would, you know, I would. I would, I would roll way. out of bed about noon, and somebody in the other room would whisper, "She insisted on getting up." <laughs> God, she gives until she can't give anymore. I, you know. So you're a martyr in a way. Well, you have three kids. I have three kids. Do they get along? Are they happy? Are they happy to have you as a mom? Or do well, they whisper I don't know about that. Yeah, I don't know about nuts. that. You won't be walking down the street sometimes, and occasionally someone, not, not at the same rate as I'm sure that they recognize you, but occasionally someone will recognize me, perhaps it's someone who works for me. And, uh, <laughs> you know, One of your old lawyers or, or perhaps a, a, a relative, something. Right. And, uh, no, occasionally somebody will recognize me, and they'll say, oh, are these your kids? And I go, yeah, they are. And they go, and they'll lean down on my kids and go, isn't your mommy funny? And my kids look at them like, you are out of your mind. <laughs> you know, because I'm sort of a little bit Sergeant Carterish, I think, with my kids. <laughs> are you tough? Are you strict? They say I'm very strict about the floor. That's what they tell me. What, you know, what, what does that mean? Well, the kitchen floor in particular, uh, I, I have uh, obsessive compulsive disorder. And one of the ways that it manifests itself is that I constantly clean the kitchen floor. Hey, wait a second, do you really have this? Is this like a I diagnosed really thing? Yeah, it was a diagnosed, uh, diagnosed thing. I think, you know, everybody has some amount probably of each of those. Because it's sort of weird. Obsession and compulsion are two totally different things. That's like saying I have the head-foot disease, sort of. It's, <laughs> it's an odd combination. So, so, what, so what do you do? You, you, uh, you, you just will clean till dawn? or It's a, kind of a Joan Crawford with a comet? Yeah, thing? yeah. I tell you, know, I'll tell you something. Now, uh, my life experience has been such recently, uh, including, you know, ha having children and, and, and realizing the, the OCD thing, that I've actually started to feel a little bit bad for Joan Crawford. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> because be between being strict and cleaning till dawn... Well, what I think about that and movie... And the lipstick isn't light. It's... No. No, but what I mean is that you clearly are... are no, no, I mean, you wear lots of lipstick. Joan wore lots of lipstick. Oh, I've seen a lot of similarities. Joan wore lots of lipstick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I thought it was like a signal, like which place you wear, like a kerchief or something, and the lipstick isn't light, and I thought, well, no, 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 I'm not speaking in who code. Who does that mean that I have sex with? I... <laughs> hey, who do you have sex with? Uh, <laughs> you know, yesterday I was at this, I don't have sex with anybody, because I don't like it, there's been said, uh... <laughs> you know what is it? You don't like sex. I'm happy for the rest of you, by the way, but, uh... <laughs> See, and you were wondering, you thought it was me when I said she was nuts. No, no, I, I don't that, but... think that's nuts. And besides which, I have so much to do. I just don't know, <laughs> you know, when you would, uh, you well, know. When would we have time? Right. I don't well, know when that would be. It's supposed to be a bad thing to have sex. It's supposed to be fun. It's not like, you know, mop the floor, feed the cat, and have sex. It's, 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 it's supposed to be an enjoyable thing. It's just well, I gotta tell you something. That's with. the order in which I would get to it. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I never actually complete my list of things to do, and so it, it really it may be on the list. It's just that I've never actually got because I put the more distasteful things towards the end. <laughs> and uh, believe me, scrub the floor on your hands and knees is way up there. But Paula, I, mean, I use distilled water though. I'm not sure if it makes a difference. Because you know the grout in your tile, how it discolors uh, with hard water. Uh, yeah. I mean, I do, but I, I 
I can't speak for the room. You, you guys know the growth? <laughs> yeah. Where did you... Where did you get? I saw the piece with someone asking about, do you want to come to the Martin Short Show right. in front of uh, exactly. Grammans? Where did you get this crowd? Did it, do you have a service that? No, no, no. It's based on an absolute um, mutual love. We met at a party uh, given by Liza a couple of weeks ago for her big opening. It was a re-release of Cap Life. So I ran into them. We got talking. I'd had a cocktail. And I invited them down because they knew you'd be here. Yeah, sure. And you look and you look and you're dressed up. You dressed for me. I'm so honored. Is there? Is there? Well, you know, we we get a pot. Thank you for watching, and remember to like, comment, and subscribe.